As guys, you guessed it, it is that time of the week again, all month, depending on how you're looking at it, right? And we are busy with the smart targeting, more specifically the S from smart, right? So if you haven't already, have a look at Trudy's vlog, my one kind of follows that. So if you get a little bit stuck or lost, it's probably it's probably because you have not seen her one yet. So check it out. Other than that, let's get crackalacky on. Cool guys, so just a brief breakdown on what smart means. I know most of you guys already know what it is, but just to go over it one more time. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timeable, right? So like we said today, we're going to be dealing with smart or the S from smart, but why do we set these in a normal session, right? So firstly, it shows that you have assessed the Brady, okay? You've actually paid attention to the lesson and you said, well, this needs to change. This was done amazingly and this needs to be worked on. Then the other side of that is it allows you to personalize that lesson for that specific Brady. Then it also has the benefit of helping parents out, right? So it can actually show them how far the Brady is, where they need to work, and just essentially their progress, right? Or what they need to work on, not where they need to work. And then it gives them something to practice at home. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, why do we use them? Yeah. Awesome. So the S from SMART, specific. What does it mean? It means that you have to be precise in what you are going to achieve, or you have to be precise in what you are telling or recommending or saying to the Brady and what you want them to actually achieve. Now, because there's three points in every section, each objective or each point should have or address one specific problem. So there's no point adding three or four different items in one objective. It's never going to get through to them. So in other words, a good specific example, right? John struggled with these AI sounds, right? Hmm. What did he struggle with? His AI sounds. His A, his long A sounds, right? Hmm. How is he going to achieve it? I'm going to give him a couple of words to practice at home and we'll see in the next lesson if he has perfected a specific target, right? Another example, what we could say is, hmm, John struggled to use the words play, go, and do, or struggled to understand when to use play, go, and do. The example of the incorrect statement, I do football, right? Then example, or not the example, the actual correction, I play football and then give an actual breakdown of when to use it. We use play when this, we use go when this, we use do when this. He can practice it at home by making sentences with those examples, right? So a specific item or a specific target objective that addresses one issue, right? So we're going to move on from that and we're going to go into a bad example and how to correct that right now cool guys so just to end off a couple of examples that are non-specific and i haven't really seen a lot of these around lately however it could just be me getting the lucky reviews or the unlucky reviews because i've got a thumb sock some examples so the famous one would be hmm pronunciation the brady struggled to pronunciate well how is that specific how does that go into any details of preciseness or any details of how this Brady is actually going to improve? So what we could do, instead of saying, well, the Brady struggled with his pronunciation, we could say, well, we could start it off that way. This Brady or John struggled with his pronunciation today. Hmm. Specifically, these five words. How is he going to correct it? Well, he can create sentences with those words. If he struggled with blue, he can make four sentences with the color blue, right? However, be careful not to give extra homework. We're not giving extra homework in our reviews. We're giving them things that they can do to better themselves, right? Or what we could say is the Brady struggled with his vowels. Well, did he struggle with every single one of them? 
A E I O U, or did he struggle with certain ones? But Brady struggled with his vowels mainly A and E. Well, how can we actually correct that? What can we say to make it nice and specific and get them to actually improve on that for the next lesson, right? Well, hmm, let's have a look, you see. The Brady struggled with his vowels, mainly A and E. What he can do at home is try and use as many A and E words as he possibly can, like, and give the words. Even if you want to give the words that were in the lesson, and he struggled with them, give them again, and we can actually check in the next lesson if he perfected them, if he improved on them, or if he's on that same level. And then it's an easy way to gauge, well, is he improving or isn't he, isn't he improving? If you give new words, just understand that he might be able to pronounce them perfectly already, or he might be able to use those vowels perfectly already. So there's no real gaugement of, or progress there, right? So, a bad example. He struggles with pronunciation. How do we correct it? Well, what pronunciation does he struggle with? What sounds, what letters, what words does he struggle with? Is it two symbols, syllables, one syllable words, four syllable words? Is it just a specific letter? Is it a specific sound, right? And then get nice and specific on that. Other than that, guys, peace out.